This is Professor L. V. Gaikwad's English Literature Way. I am Professor L. V. Gaikwad. He is discussing with you today on the direct and indirect speech. Remember, I have made all the series on the direct and indirect speech. Now, this is the video next on the direct and indirect speech. Before going to the topic, I will tell you to see all the notes which I have put in the description box. Then second request is that please subscribe, share, comment my YouTube channel. Now we will go to see the topic. The topic is 433 and 434. It means I will make this uh, topic means this video in Hindi and in English and that's why here uh, the number of this video is 433 and 434. The topic of the uh, video is direct speech with exclamatory sentences. Now, the first sentence is Hurrah! How glad I am! The man shouted. The answer is the man exclaimed with great joy that he was very glad. Now see, I will explain in detail the answer. The man is the subject here. I have taken the man as it is because it is the subject and the subject is always taken as it is. So I have taken it as it is. Then here I have taken exclaimed as the verb because here it is the exclamatory sentence and that's why here I have taken exclaimed and there is with great joy because here is the word hura and that's why here I have taken with great joy. Then I have taken this that conjunction because this conjunction is taken here because always remember when we are making the indirect speech of the exclamatory sentence then we put the conjunction as that then uh, he was very glad this is the indirect speech but this indirect speech has been uh, from this how glad i am means here how glad i am this is the exclamatory sentence and i have made the assertive sentence of this exclamatory sentence and that assertive sentence has been I am very glad and I am very glad has become he was very glad because this I has become he because it is the male and this M has become was because always uh, to make indirect it means to make in the past tense and that's why this M has become was and very has become very because it will not it will not change itself and then glad is the adjective and this glad also will not change itself and there is the full stop uh, i will discuss here uh, is that uh, this is the hura how glad i am this is the part of the direct speech and the man shouted is the part of the reporting uh, verb uh, remember here i will tell you that uh, we should remove all the inverted commas, then this exclamation mark and uh, all my point is that all the comma and inverted commas should be uh, omitted and only uh, there should be the full stop at the end of the indirect speech. Then second example is Ramesh said comma inverted comma started and here the comma and inverted comma uh, closed. So, I will read the uh, direct speech. Ramesh said, how unfortunate I am. So, remember here the answer is Ramesh exclaimed with regret that he was very unfortunate. So, remember the sentence is that here I have taken this Ramesh uh, because Ramesh is the speaker and I have taken this Ramesh as it is because uh, the speaker never changes and that's why I have taken here this Ramesh. Uh, I have taken here exclaimed in place of this seed. Then 
there is the word with great with great uh, sorry with regret i have taken because the sentence is how unfortunate i am because here this i is unfortunate and that's why here i have taken with regret because he is uh, expressing uh, this regret and that's why here i have uh, taken with regret then i have taken the conjunction that because here i have join the uh, this uh, reporting verb part and uh, direct speech part by this uh, uh, i will say that or uh, i will say with this that and that's why this is the that conjunction now he was very unfortunate this is the assertive sentence uh, it means how unfortunate i am i have made the assertive sentence of this how unfortunate i am and the assertive sentence has become i am very unfortunate and this i am very unfortunate has been turned into the indirect speech and it has become he was very unfortunate so this i has become he this n has become was and this very will remain very and unfortunate will remain unfortunate because uh, very is the here adverb it will remain the same then there is unfortunate that is the uh, adjective i will say and always the adjective remains the same and here is the full stop my point is that ramesh said is the reporting verb part and how unfortunate i am is the direct speech part so what i have did here i have removed all the comma and inverted commas and uh, at the end of this uh, indirect speech i have put the full stop so always do like this now uh, uh, we will discuss the third uh, sentence the third sentence is a funny coleridge said to himself remember here is the answer coleridge ex claimed himself with wonder that it was very really funny so remember here i will say that i have taken this colorist as it is because it is the uh, subject because the subject or the speaker is taken always as it is and hence i have taken it as it is then i have taken here exclaimed because uh, i have taken this exclaim in place of this said to and that's why here is the exclaimed then uh, there is uh, the himself this himself is uh, here the listener so i have taken this himself as it is then with wonder i have taken because here is the funny word and in this funny word the meaning is of the wonder and that's why here i have taken with wonder and then i have joined the uh, direct speech part and the indirect speech part uh, sorry the direct speech part and the reporting verb part with the that conjunction and therefore here i have taken that conjunction and then uh, it was very funny i have done because this funny is the single word but its assertive sentence will be uh, funny means uh, it is uh, very funny and this it is very funny i have turned into the indirect speech as it was very funny because it is very funny is will be was it will remain it and very and funny will remain the same i and therefore i have done like this so here i will tell you that here i have removed all the uh, inverted commas and then this exclamation mark uh, then everything i have removed and at the end of the indirect speech i have given there the full stop only and you should also do like this now the fourth example is oh i am beaten he exclaimed remember the answer is he exclaimed with sorrow that he was beaten so remember here i took here he because it is the uh, subject or if it is the speaker and so i have taken it as it is then i have taken exclaim in place of 
uh, this uh, exclaim because it is here uh, ready made and so I have taken this exclaim ready made uh, so here if here is exclaim then we should take the same exclaim here then I have taken here with sorrow because the meaning of this sentence is I am beaten I am beaten it means that there is the sorrow uh, in the mind of this uh, a speaker and that's why here I have taken with sorrow and then I have taken this that conjunction and I have joined the reporting work part and the direct speech part together and he was beaten this is the indirect speech how I have done this I am beaten so I have made this I am beaten uh, into the uh, I will say uh, indirect speech and this I has become he and M has become was and beaten has become beaten. Again, I will tell you that uh, uh, this, uh, this, this, this inverted comma, this comma and this inverted comma, all these have been removed by me and I have put only the full stop at the end of this indirect speech. In this way, you also, uh, you also should do uh, the same thing which I have done. So remember here, I will explain that this is the video which I have made uh, in English. Uh, again, I will make this video uh, in Hindi. Uh, so I stop here. So I request you to uh, subscribe, uh, to comment and share my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.